In this experiment, we will make a stick shadow. We need a direction sheet, a compass, a balloon straw attached to a balloon holder, and a 30 cm thread. Place a direction sheet on the table, then align the directions in the sheet with those in the compass. Tape the compass onto the sheet. Put the balloon holder and straw in the middle of the direction sheet. Secure it in place using tape. Make sure that it is tightly taped so that it will not come off later. Put the thread on top of the straw and tape it. If the adhesive tape is too long, cut the excess part. Please make sure that the thread is secured in place so that it will not come off when you pull it. Adjust the direction sheet until the compass needle coincides with north. Then pull the thread towards the tip of the balloon straw's shadow. Tape the end of the thread onto the table. Remember to straighten the thread when you tape it. Use a protractor to measure the angle of elevation. Position it at the edge of the thread. The angle of elevation is about 30 degrees. Then measure the length of the shadow with a ruler. The shadow is approximately 24 centimeters long. Next, determine the azimuth's direction. It is east-southeast. Record the time as well. This time, we will make our own sun observer. We need a cutter, a compass, a protractor, a straw, and a carton. Get the protractor and fold it in half. Bind the two halves of the protractor using tape. This time, cut one side of the carton using a cutter. The opening should be about half a centimeter wide. Please be careful when you do this so that you will not cut your own hand. Check that the opening is long and wide enough for the protractor. Next, put the compass on top of the carton, with its north aligned with the slit. Secure the compass in place by using tape. The finished product will look like this. Pay close attention to the next set of instructions. Look for the zero degree mark, using the numbers in red. The zero is down here. Now invert the protractor. Let's view it from the other side. Notice that the zero is now on top. Once the protractor is positioned correctly, tape it onto the carton. Tape both sides. This time, align the protractor with a straw. Then secure the straw in place by using tape. Tape it onto the carton flap.
and onto the retractor. We just created our own Sun Observer. Let us use the Sun Observer that we just made. Since this is an indoor experiment, our light source will be a bulb instead of sunlight. We can see the shadow here, and the first thing to do is to adjust the observer so that on opposite directions, we see the light and the shadow. In this configuration, the shadow appears in one direction. On the sides, there is barely any shadow. In addition, the light source is about 340 degrees in north-northwest. Next, we are going to measure the angle of elevation. Push the straw down. Focus in the shadow of the carton's tip. Then slowly pull the straw up. until this hollow circle appears. Note that the straw we used is hollow, which is why we can see the spot. If we use the chopstick or any solid object, we will see a black spot. Once the hollow circle appears, measure the angle. It is about 40 degrees. Then record all measurements in a notebook. That completes the experiment.